Okay, on this problem, it's a work problem, and it says Mary can weed a garden in six hours, Margaret can do the same garden in four hours, and so how long will it take them to weed it together? Well, the way we learn to do these problems is to look at their hour, how much can they get done in an hour? Well, Mary can get one-sixth of the garden done in an hour, and then Margaret can get one-fourth of the garden done in an hour also. So after one hour, then how much total can they get done? Well, that's going to be equal to one over however long it takes them to do it together. If it took them two hours to do it together, then together they can get one half of it done in an hour. So now we've got an equation with a variable to solve. So to solve this, we go ahead and add those two up together. And so that's going to, the common denominator is 12. So it's going to give me two twelfths plus three twelfths equals one over t which would give me 5 over 12 equals 1 over t. Now we can just cross multiply. So that will give me 5t equals 12. And when you divide both sides by 5, t equals 12 fifths. So in 12 fifths hours or 2.4 hours or 2 and 2 fifths hours, they would be done weeding that garden together. Okay, and then the next problem we're looking at um, is a compound interest problem. And this says Nate invests $13,000 compounded quarterly at 8%. So you got to remember the formula. And the formula is going to be the balance is equal to the principal times 1 plus the rate over how many times you are raised to how many times you compound it. And remember, the rate needs to be based on when you're doing your compounding. In this case, we're compounding quarterly. So unfortunately, Nate doesn't get a compound 8% quarterly. He only gets a compound 2%, 8 divided by 4. So that's your quarterly rate. And so you start and you write your formula. The balance is equal to 13,000 times 1 plus the quarterly rate, which is 2%, and then raised to the amount of times um, this should be um, after eight years, I don't know why I didn't copy on there. So um, should be after how much does he have in count is after eight years? Well, if after eight years he's going to compound quarterly 32 times. So now we have an equation we can solve just 13,000 times 1.02 raised to the 32nd power. So it's going to be 13,000 times 1.02 raised to the 32nd power equals $24,499 and rounded to three cents. And that's your answer. That's how much money is in his account after eight years.